गुड मॉर्निंग ग्रेड सेवन लेट सी से थर्टी थ्री इन टू विच एडिशन ऑफ एल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी बिफोर दैट आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट ओनली लाइक टर्म्स कैन बी एडेड वॉट डू यू मीन बाई लाइक टर्म्स कोफिशेंट विथ सेम वेरिएबल एंड सेम इंडेक्स फॉर दैट वेरिएबल नॉ सी यर नाइन पी एंड थर्टीन पी दीज टू आर लाइक वेरिएबल्स वेरिएबल इज पी एंड इंडेक्स इज वन सो दीज टू कैन बी एडेड सिक्सटीन क्यू एंड टू क्यू 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 कैन बी एडेड विथ पावर वन वन सो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू एड दिस यू कैन राइट इट एज नाइन पी प्लस सिक्सटीन क्यू प्लस थर्टीन पी प्लस टू क्यू Now let us write like terms together. So you have nine p plus thirteen p plus sixteen q plus two q. All right. Now thirteen plus nine is how much? Twenty two. So you have twenty two p plus sixteen plus two is eighteen q. This two cannot be added because this is p. And this is Q. Is this clear? So your answer is twenty-two P plus eighteen Q. I hope it is clear. Now question number two. Two A plus six B plus eight C. So we have two A plus six B plus eight C. This is the given algebraic expression. To this, we are going to add sixteen a. So I am doing directly now. Plus second expression I am writing sixteen a plus thirteen c. Sixteen a plus thirteen c plus plus you have eighteen b plus eighteen b. Now let us write all the like terms together. So we have two a, this a and this a. Two a plus sixteen a plus you have six b plus eighteen b plus you have eight c plus thirteen c. Let us add them up. Sixteen plus two. 18. So here you have 18a plus 18 plus 6, 24. So 24b plus 13 plus 8, 21. So you have 21c. So this is your final answer. I hope it is clear. First and second. So just add the two expressions and. Right, the answer. That's it. Let's go to the third question. Now look at the third question. Thirteen x square minus twelve y square and six x square minus eight y square. See, students, the question is add. So it is better that you put first algebraic expression in bracket. Then you put plus sign, and then again you put the second algebraic expression in the bracket. Minus sign is there, so it is better you put the brackets and then open the brackets. Why to put the bracket? If it is addition, signs are not going to change. So we are writing thirteen x square minus twelve y square plus six x square plus into minus is again minus eight y square. So signs of the second bracket are not changing. But if it is minus sign, if subtraction is there. Then we need to change the sign of whole expression. Therefore, to be on the safe side, you have to put the brackets. Put the brackets. If it is addition, don't change the sign of second expression and simply open the brackets now. So what do you have? Thirteen x square. Now x square and x square you take together. So you'll have thirteen x square plus six x square minus twelve y square minus eight y square. So thirteen plus six is nineteen x square. Minus twelve minus eight, same sign, addition of numbers, and answer will have the same sign. So you have minus twenty y square. Look at the second question: seventeen a square b square plus sixteen c and twenty eight c minus twenty eight a square b square. Again, put the first expression in bracket, add plus, give plus sign, 
second expression in bracket. Second expression is bracket 28c minus 28a square b square. Now open up the brackets. You have 17a square b square plus 16c plus 28c minus 28a square b square. Alright. Now take the like terms together. a square b square 17. a square b square minus 28. So these two I have put together. 17a square b square minus 28a square b square plus you have 16c plus 28c. So 17 minus 28 is minus 11. So you have minus 11a square b square plus 16 plus 28 is 44c. So this is your final answer. So do not forget to put the brackets. This is to be on the safe side. Alright. Now let's go to the other questions. Now look at the fifth and sixth question. You have 3y square minus 10y plus 16 and 2y minus 7. Be very careful. See now the question is you don't have same like terms at both the sides. Here there are 3 terms and that side there are only 2 terms. See now 3y square minus 10y plus 16 plus you are adding 2y minus 7. Now open up the brackets you have 3y square minus 10y plus 16 plus 2y minus 7. Now, which are like terms, students? See, 3y square, you are likely to subtract or add these two consecutive terms with yy. But see, here it is y square and here it is only y. So, these two cannot be added, neither they can be subtracted. You have to go for 10y and 2y. For this, y square term is not there. So, 3y square remains as it is. Now, minus 10y and plus 2y. These two are like terms. So, minus 10 plus 2, you will get minus 8y. And 16 minus 7, you will get plus 9. Similarly, over here in the sixth question, 1, 2, 3, there are 3 terms. And second algebraic expression, you have only 2 terms. Let us add them up. You have minus 3y square plus 10y minus 16 plus 7y square plus 7 plus 8. Open up the brackets. Minus 3y square plus 10y minus 16 plus 7y square plus 8. Which are like terms? Y square, Y square. Constant number, constant number. 10Y is all alone. It is not having any other like term. So, minus 3Y square and plus 7Y square. Check out the indices. Okay. And the variable, both. So, 3Y square plus 7Y square plus 10Y all alone. Minus 16 plus 8. Now, minus 3 plus 7. Answer is plus 4. It is as good as 7 minus 3. So 4y square, 10y as it is and minus 16 plus 8. Opposite sign, subtraction of number and answer will be having greater number sign. So here you have minus 8. Is this clear? So this is the end of your practice set 33. Alright, so that's all for today from my side students. Thank you.